Hi folks, Richard Ash, Folkcraft Instruments. Today's dulcimer demonstration is a Folkcraft Custom teardrop shaped dulcimer. This instrument has a 26 inch scale length. We offer between 25 and 29 inches. 26 is on the shorter side for a full size instrument. Ideal for a person with smaller hands, but maybe not the teeny tiny hands that some people seem to have. Um, the body of this one is made of African mahogany. The top is made out of Engelmann spruce. It's a softwood grows in the Rockies of the United States. Um, Engelmann spruce gives you a lot of sustain and a lot of sweetness, which kind of counteracts the uh, African mahogany, which is more, more for volume than sustain, certainly. The fingerboard veneer, the, vene the, the thin wood on top of the fretboard, is Wenge, W-E-N-G-E. W-E-N-G-E, it's another African exotic. Very hard, very durable, and very reasonably priced. We're doing a lot of instruments nowadays out of Wenge. Partly because it's very attractive, and partly because ebony has gotten so expensive, it's out of reach for a lot of us, and Wenge is a great substitute for that. Position dots at 3, 7, 10, and 14. This instrument does have the one and a half fret. One of the things that makes this dulcimer special, of course, is the Galax back, and it's gonna be hard to see in the camera. You may have to run your video in full screen just to see what I'm talking about. But normally a dulcimer has the inside back, which sits on your legs, and that back, of course, is damped by your legs. It can't vibrate well because your thighs are stopping it from vibrating. What we've done on this instrument is add an extra back. So this instrument has an inside back, little spacers, they're only three-eighths of an inch or so wide all the way around the edge of the instrument, and then an outside back. And the outside back, you know, also made of African mahogany, sits on your lap, sits on your legs. The inside back is free to vibrate. That does help the sound of the instrument. Helps it sustain longer, especially in the second octave. And it just generally helps the volume and the clarity and the tone of the, of the instrument. Definitely a, definitely a great option. Um, this one's strung up as four strings, D, A, D, and D. Of course, you can take off one of the melody strings. And if you do that, I would, I would recommend instead of the two 11s, the two zero and one gauge strings we have on there, if you're going to take off the, one of the melody strings, take them both off and put on a little bit heavier string, probably a 12, which will give you a little bit better balance between the melody and the middle and bass strings. Anyway, so here we have a uh, Folkcraft custom teardrop. I'm going to play two songs, Shenandoah and Wildwood Flower. Shenandoah is a picker, flat, flat picked, very gentle, very sweet tune. And Wild, Wildwood Flower is a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more strummy give you an idea of what the instrument does in its, in its range anyway. Here's some Shenandoah to start. The serial number on this instrument is 20141587. Thank you very much.